Hey everyone, welcome back to Outside of the Shop. Let's get back to work on the Fokker D7. Before we begin, I've got the bottom wing. I've got to go ahead and tear this little teeny rib cap off and, uh, and replace it because there's a gap of about that big uh, between, the, between the rib and the top because it wasn't properly done and I didn't see it until I got done putting dope all over that wing. So I will do all of that off camera because you've seen me do it before and it's easy peasy. So I'll just get that taken care of, start putting a couple coats of nitrate dope on it. Uh, and then uh, once again, she will be ready to get covered. Now, because I've had requests from people to go ahead and let's do some little time-lapse videos where I speed everything up so you can see the whole process through, most of that will take place on the wings. Uh, but I'm going to see if I can uh, get it together where I'm kind of setting up and at least do one of the, the tail section pieces, whether it's the elevators or it could be the rudder. Or But uh, I've got three cameras. This one right here. I also have, let's bring you up a little bit. Got the GoPro, and then I've got the Canon. So what that means for me, a lot more editing. But I also have three sources of audio. So if there is an issue with anything with audio on this camera or the other camera or the other camera, uh, I do have three sources. So what it does is it, uh, it helps me out a lot with having multiples. You know, it's not the same audio sound quality, but it's still at least audio for you guys. So let me go ahead and get started on this. I'll bring you back and show you what it looks like when it's all done. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and figure out what we're going to start doing next. All right, the wing tip is done. I'll give you guys a quick little look at it. And as you can see, there is no gap between that cap rib and the rib. So this one's ready to rock. We'll put this back up on the bench with the other wing. All right, as you can see, we've got the tail end section up here and I've even got the ailerons. My intent today is to try to get all of that done. That way it's just pretty much the, uh, the I mean pretty much, <laughs> it's the big part. Uh, the wings, the, the fuselage, and the, uh, the landing gear uh, and cabane strut. So that's gonna be, uh, that will be, I'll show you how I'm going to do that when the time comes because I've kind of figured out, I think I'm going to do little top caps uh, on the struts and the landing gear, do top caps on it. Just to give you a reference, this would be like a little top cap. So I put a little cap over the top of this side, a little over this side, and then we'll just do a wrap around it with an overlap on the front. So we'll start on this side, it doesn't really matter which side, and we'll go ahead and wrap it around at least halfway on this side and then we'll wrap it all the way around so we've got an overlap on it and that should hold these things nicely tightly together. Now, I'm trying to test to see how long that polytack, it would still be usable using heat to get it to adhere to the fabric. Um, this was done yesterday morning, so we're uh, over 24 hours since I did this. And it was just two coats of nitrate dope on the wood just to try to give the, the polytech something to bond to. And then uh, went ahead and when it dried, just dried, I mean it wasn't fully dry because I've got a test piece here where it's been drying for 24 hours. And on this side is one coat of polytech as you can see. And this side over here is two coats of polytech. So I want to see how well that binds uh, to the fabric. Uh, after 24 hours because what I'd like to do if it's going to work it'd be to come through put polytack all the way around the outsides of these things because my goal is still to get these done today but it may be two days um, would be to come around the outside and uh, just make sure that it's got enough polytack on it so then even if it's a couple days down the road um, we're still going to be good so once again this We've got two test spots, one side with one on and the other side with two layers on. So, and I have no idea how well this is gonna stick. It's sticking a lot better than I thought it was. All right, that's holding pretty darn tight. 
Okay, I, I'm happy with that because now I'm just pulling the weave apart and it does not want to come. There you go. All right, so the double side held better, but as you see, the, the, the weave was starting to tear apart just to get it off. So I'm pretty darn confident in doing it that way now. So what we will be doing, I'll be going around doing the polytech all the way around the outside of that. And um, then I'll get, because you're always going to do the bottom first. And then today, minimal, minimum today, uh, I'll get the bottoms done, put some nitrate dope on the top to go ahead and pretty much lock that in the best I can. So that way we know we've got pretty much 100% coverage uh, where it's not going to want to peel off. And then on top of that, once that sets up to, if I care to, I could put some more polytac on the top of that or just leave that until the morning I'm going to go ahead and start covering the other side. So let's see what happens. So let me go ahead and get everything set up and get back to work. All right. As you can see by the sun in the west, it, it's been a long day. It's time for me to break this little awning down and get stuff back inside. All right, so where we're at right now, because this is just day one of many, excuse me, day two of many, because you haven't seen part two yet, and this would be like part three. All right, so this was kind of part one. This is all finished. The little teeny end caps are all covered. So this one here has got two coats of paint on it. needs its first sand out. And then that one gets another couple coats of paint with dope in it. Excuse me with filler and the dope in it. All right, now, the three things that got taken care of today, and it was a battle. The one thing I did learn is uh, don't deviate from the norm. I'm going back to the way I did it before because trying to save time by putting the dope around the outside and letting it dry, um, it, it was it was a bigger pain in the butt than, than you could imagine. And it ended up taking me probably about three times it should have taken me to get the first one done. So the second one, I just went back to old school and had it banged out within an hour. So anyway, so we've got one, two elevators. So the elevators are all covered uh, and two coats of nitrate dope on it. The rudder, the one thing that I questioned myself, why did I not go ahead and redo the whole rudder? Um, kind of wish I did, but it is straight and that's the thing. Now. It still needs a little bit of work on it sanding more so than that because it was because the thinner the thinner edge on it It just made it a little bit tougher to get everything the way I wanted it now um, Structurally it's sound. There's nothing wrong with it. The only thing that, that bothers me is um, Because of there's a little teeny drop in the wood right there a little t so there's a little bit of a pucker right next to it It's not gonna affect anything. I'm gonna try to go ahead and see if I could pull that little bit out and then um, when I was trimming around the outside edge right here where I was trimming off the excess uh, fabric, I had a little whoopsie. You can't see the whoopsie probably through the camera, um, but I can see it. If I wanted to put a patch on, I could put a patch on. I'll probably just go ahead because I've got to do a little bit more shrinking on this one. Um, I'll probably just put a little bit of filler in there and just call it done because once you spray paint it white, you're not going to see the spot anyway. But you guys are going to know about it, so don't go calling me out on it. And lastly, because of the time trying to go ahead and do it the fast way, it ate up some of my time, and so these things did not get touched today. Now, a little heads up, the way I'm going to do the ailerons is going to be kind of sort of the same way I did these. What you pretty much do is anywhere you've got it inside 90 degree that you know you're not going to be able to get the proper covering down, you just put a little piece down inside. It's just like a, I don't even, I, there's got to be a name for it. So if you guys know what it is, tell me what it is. Uh, I just I just call it a little teeny. It's, it's almost just a, whatever you want to call it. It's just a little fill piece. So I put a piece down in there first. So then when you cover over the top, there's no bare wood. So when it's time to paint it, you're not shooting uh, paint on top of bare wood that's just been primered. So what I will do is I will be doing the same thing with this portion inside here. So what I'll do is I'll come on down, because even though I could fold these things over the top, I'll probably come down and just put a straight strip from here all the way up around this edge here. So when it goes to cover it over, it's just going to be that much easier to do. And these are also going to be my first test on how to work with this. And although you guys won't see it, 
until after it's done. So I guess I'm just gonna have to figure it out for myself. All right, now, before we finish this video, up in the little description, um, it's the major announcement. And here's the major announcement. It's not a good announcement, but it's still an announcement. Um, if the reason why you're out here and you're not in the shop because the shop's an absolute disaster I'm moving and Where I'm moving to I do not know yet um, Unfortunately my lease on this piece of property is up on October 1st uh, Because I'm a renter um, And I'm going to be going to a new location that has yet been undisclosed because I have no idea where it's at at the moment, but I do have a month and a half, so I am out looking. And uh, so if any of you guys are up here in the northwest Chicago area, because I'm up in a little town called Fox River Grove, um, and know somebody that's renting, renting a house is what I'm looking for. Um, because right now the market itself um, for buying a new house, I don't want to deal with that kind of percentage rate uh, for a loan. So I'm going to wait until the market balances itself out. So what I'm doing right now is a lot of stuff's going into storage. I've already got storage uh, area, so I've got a storage, you know, 10 by 10 by 30 foot, uh, where everything's getting placed into there because I don't know where I'm going yet. And as soon as I do, you guys will know. So as of right now, probably for at least the next couple months, you're not going to really see a video. Uh, within the next month and a half, I still plan on stopping out and seeing Mike Kellner. Yeah, you heard me, Mike. Uh, stop out and see Mike Kellner out in Marengo where he's doing the B-17, the full-size B-17 bomber, uh, the rebuild. Uh, I plan on stopping out and seeing him because I still have his plane back here in this part of the shop. Uh, and plus I just want to have a just a complete walkthrough uh, Where I'll ask him the the typical questions uh, that you guys would probably want me to ask just to see uh, just the status of it and You know how many more decades it's going to be before it gets completed Because a lot of people out there are saying it's never going to be done, but don't ever say never uh, Because as soon as that thing's ready where he's got the wings all done uh, and they need to be mounted, that's when it's leaving Morango and going to somewhere else. So like I said, it's bad news, but it's not the end of the world. So uh, I will be back. I will be finishing up that plane. Uh, and I'm hoping it's going to be at least, it, it, worst case scenario, through the wintertime. Because I do have friends that have shops at their place, at their house. And I'm talking about you, Larry. So if I have to drive over to his place to go work on the plane, I will be doing that whether he likes it or not. So if you guys got any questions, uh, even progressing forward, go ahead in the little comment section down below. Uh, just go ahead and send me something um, because I still see those things coming through even when I'm at work uh, and I will go ahead and respond to them. So it's going to be a little bit longer of a wait, but I will see you guys next time. I'm back down in the shop.